in the middle of the city making exposure to pollution inevitable. As a school in London, it is our responsibility to help inform students on how to reduce air pollution and help make the Marlborough neighborhood, therefore London, more sustainable. In the Housing Eco Committee, we took the first step by conducting several experiments that provide specific information about the pollution in London. In order to uncover the contributing factors towards pollution in the Marlebone area, we conducted several experiments. The first experiment we did consisted of us securing air collection tubes that tested the air pollution levels in certain areas. We hung these up in trees and street lamps surrounding our school in Seymour Place, the fence surrounding Portman Square, areas between Marlebone Road and Baker Street, and Upper Montague Street. During the second experiment, we went out and tallied the amount of vehicles that we observed on specific roads, counting the overall traffic that could potentially be contributing to the high pollution levels in our area. For the last experiment, we walked around with a particulate monitor to measure the concentration of air pollution in Marlebone. The final results have proven that carbon emitting vehicles are one of the largest contributors to air pollution. With regards to the first experiment that we conducted, despite all the areas having high pollution levels, the area between Marlebone Road and Baker Street had the highest levels of nitrogen dioxide in the air. Our school is located in the heart of Marlebone, and upon further research, we discovered that 8 out of the 10 most polluted locations in the UK are actually in Marlebone. Obviously, very, very alarming to a school like ours because we're young people, we have developing brains, and we need to be breathing good air. So, as Eco Committee, we just immediately went against this and we said, you know, because we live in London, we wanted to reduce how many people take cars and things like that just to reduce the air pollution in London itself on a local scale. So, we did things like the walk to uh, school day, walk to school week, and the street party. Right now we're visiting all the shops down on this particular road where we're going to have the street party. And we've been telling them a bit about the event and also asking them to fill out a quick survey regarding the air pollution in the area. That was great! They're all really friendly. Um, it went pretty well. Everyone's really nice around here, so we didn't really have to worry about anything. Um, and no one had any questions that I couldn't answer, so I think it went good. So we uh, run one obstacle course whilst texting and then another obstacle course without texting and it's just to kind of highlight how difficult it is to text and to walk at the same time. Hi, I'm Tom from Cross River Partnership. Today we're here uh, running a play street 
for the Marylebone Low Emission neighbourhood. Uh, we are running a garden for kids from a local school to help raise the, raise the awareness of the issue of air quality. Welcome down for three, two, one, go! And the street party, I think, out of all of them, was probably the most effective one just because we got the entire school involved and we got the entire school to really have to be aware about this. I mean, all the other things were voluntary, so if somebody decided, I don't want to walk to school today, they didn't have to come here, they really had to be, they had to see the stats, to see what they were breathing and just how dangerous it actually is. So I think that was really important. It was a good way to let everyone know what was going on and just, it was pretty fun, so it was just a good way to incorporate everyone and to let them all be outdoors together, yeah. The whole walk or actively travel to school, like, basis is, like, morally and ethically better because for yourself it's, like, good to exercise and for the wider community as you're not, like, producing much pollution, like, if you're in a car or a train or a bus. So one of the biggest reasons we threw these sort of street parties is really to just n not only get everyone in our school aware of what's going on, but get everyone in the surroundings aware of what's going on because as a school we can only do so much. The entire local community has to do something against this. So I think that's quite important. <laughs>